Welcome fight fans, welcome to my channel, this is Johnny, and today we're going to be going over the smart money betting regarding the big fight coming up in about five days between Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fandora. Guys, I live down here in Sydney, Australia, and one of the betting apps that I use is called Sports Bet. So the numbers and figures we're going to be going over today in this video regarding the odds are from the sports betting app down here in Australia. This is something I used to do on my MMA site on Instagram. We used to do a live gambling show called Easy Money. I'm going to bring this to the boxing world now. So a lot has been made about the last second opponent change between Zoo and Thurman, now Zoo and Fandora, and we know that. We know that for a non-heavyweight title fight, a lot has been made about the inch height differential between Fandora's reach and height. Fandora is nine inches taller than Tim, and this will be the largest height difference of any fight ever that's a non heavyweight title fight and news also just broke yesterday we also know that for only the second time in tim's career his father the legendary living icon Costazu, will be ringside for his fight so there's a lot of variables going for and going against tim the odds makers make this fight a lot closer than the thurman fight Keith was coming into this fight a 7 to 1 dog. Sebastian Fandora 2 weeks ago came in at a 4 to 1 dog, but now he sits at $4.80. If you take Tim outright, and guys, for the sake of numbers and simple mathematics, I base all of these predictions on a $100 bet, okay? So I'm going to cover three different bets that I feel are going to win you guys money. And these are the bets that I'm taking. So this will also be the first video on my channel where I actually tell you guys who I'm taking in a fight. Never did this before, but I feel the money is going to lean this way. And if I'm wrong, this video stays up and you guys just get to come in the comment section and make fun of me. All right, the money line betting on this fight, guys, going into today is Tim is a $1.22 favorite, which means if you put $100 on Tim, you only get $22 back. So if your bank account's zero and you put 100 in your sports betting app and you take Tim to win, they'll give you $122 back. So you'll net gain 22 bucks. If you take that same 100 on Fundora, he's a plus 480, which means that $100 will pay you $480 back in your account. That's called the money line bet. Now, if I'm betting 10,000 on Tim, I might do a money line bet. This is the bet that Drake does, the Drake curse. He throws $500,000 on one fighter and he'll do the money line. Now, I'm not putting my money on Tim. I'm only betting 100 bucks. So for me, a gambler, 22 bucks really isn't worth the squeeze. The next two bets, I find there's a lot more value in my money. Now, if you're a bigger gambler than me, throw 10 grand on Tim. Here we go. The next prop bet for $100 is going to be, and these are interesting. You're going to get both options. Tim to win by points is a plus 700, meaning that if it goes all 12 and nobody gets knocked out, you have to pick Tim to win by a decision. 100 gets you 700. That's fascinating considering Tim's last fight against Mendoza went the distance. Now, if you want Tim by knockout, that only pays you $1.42, meaning your 100 bucks only gets you 142 back, which obviously all the money is on Tim finishing Fundora or the other way around. If this goes to a draw, nothing is out of the range of possibility. $100 gets you a 17 to 1 return. So that's a pretty nice bet, $1,700. Let's talk about Seb Fandora, his side. If you take Seb to win by decision, take Tim deep and win a decision, $100 gets you $750, which is a cool bet, but it's only $50 more than Tim winning by decision. Once again, the money is on the knockout. Fandora to win by knockout, 10 to 1, 100 gets you 1,000. I'm going to give you one more betting option before I tell you where my money's at. The last one we're going to do here, it's called the alt round betting. Basically, if you're wise enough or crazy enough to pick the round range. Now, if you pick Tim Zhu to win by knockout or stoppage between round one and two, that pays $12.50 to one. 100 bucks gets you $1,250. If you take Zoo to win between three and four, that pays seven seventy-five to one, meaning a hundred dollars gets you seven hundred and seventy-five bucks. The reason why I'm not reading you Fundora's alt round betting because this is where I tell you where my money is at, based on the height difference, based on the styles, 
how Fundora lost his last fight. Zhu, how he looked against Ocampo, a taller fighter. Not that much taller than him. I know it's terrible to judge Fundora and Ocampo. But they kind of remind me similar in certain ways of not really moving their head, not really fighting long. I see Zhu with all the momentum in the world. I think this guy is a boxer that is kind of in that frequency of destiny. I like Zhu to win early by knockout. So I'm still torn. I'm either putting my 100 bucks on Zhu to win between round one and two or three and four. Either way, the 100 bucks is either going to pay me 1250 bucks or 775 bucks. Keep this video saved and we'll come back to it after the weekend to see if I was right. Hopefully, you guys, I make you some easy money.